can't believe it. Charity and Miguel are back together. <sighs> well, maybe not. What do you mean? Look at them. How could she do this? She promised Death that she wouldn't go back to Miguel. She knows that if she does, Death will take my baby. Oh, God. Maria's gonna die. And I'm gonna end up without Miguel and without my baby. And I'm gonna be alone for the rest of my life. Let us calm down, dear. And maybe there's still some hope. Just keep watching. Feel better now, Kay? Finally. Charity is actually thinking of somebody other than herself for a change. And telling Miguel that they can't be together anymore. Whew. Yes. But of course, she said that before. And the moment Miguel comes a-courting, she goes back on her word. She simply can't resist him. But a life is at stake here, okay? My daughter's. If she goes back on her deal with death and reconciles with Miguel, death will claim Maria's soul. No, no, I'm not going to let that happen. And you know, if Charity and Miguel make love, then Endora and I are gone as two. Well, then help me keep them apart. Do your witch thing. Conjure up some magic. Do something, Tabitha, please. Charity, we can work this out. I'm sorry to interrupt, Miguel. Will you excuse us a second? Yeah, why not? What's going on? You can't let Kay come between you and Miguel. You guys, you don't understand. It's not just Kay. It's the baby. She has to be looked after. I can help look after her. Uh, me too, and my dad will help out too, and so will Miguel's mother. There's no reason why you and Miguel being together would affect the baby. You don't understand. Yes, we do. You're a good person. You're always putting other people's happiness first. But it's time you started thinking about making Charity happy. Putting yourself first. You and Miguel belong together. I could strangle that sister of mine. Yeah, and Simone, my ex-best friend. Always putting their noses into things that are none of their business. Butt out! In my heart, I always knew that you and Miguel were meant to be together. And yes, I understand that you're concerned about Kay and the baby, but Miguel said that he would always be there for him, make sure they had everything that they needed. Miguel needs you. Think about that, Charity. He'll never be happy without you. If you go back to him, you'll kill my baby! What do you think you're doing, Kay? I'm trying to strangle Charity. You don't have the power to reach through that water and grab Charity like I do when my powers are working. Yeah, well, I can try. I will not let her have Miguel, and I will not let my baby die. Let's see if I have a little juice left. It's not raining. Where did that water come from? I'm sorry, Kay. That's all I can manage. Oh, Charity is such a liar. She's reneging on her deal with death. She's getting back together with Miguel. No, I'm not going to let that happen. Nobody threatens my daughter's life. Nobody. I'm going to stop Charity once and for all. And you're going to help, Tabitha. All right, all right. I'm trying. I have a lot to lose, too, you know. Is there anything wrong, Charlie? No! Let her go, Miguel! I won't lose our baby just so Charity can steal you from me. That's right, Kay. You've got to fight. 
I don't need a cheerleader, Tabitha. I need a witch to cast a spell, conjure up something that will split Charity and Miguel apart before I lose her forever. All right, all right. I'll try again. It appears my zap has lost its zip. No! Don't just stand there. Do something! <sighs> no matter what I do, I can't increase my powers. They are at minimal strength right now. Well, can't you cast a spell or something? Not one that will prevent Miguel and Charity getting together. Wake up, Endora. Why? If she had enough powers to give Reese that ripped body, she might have enough powers to rip Charity and Miguel apart. Oh, no, no, no. We can't wake Endora up. Why not? Because she gets very cranky when she's woken out of a sound sleep. Well, I don't care. Well, you will if Endora is shocked awake. I mean, I mean, she might lash out and use her power to turn us into a couple of toads. No. We will wait until she wakes up on her own, and then we will enlist her help. We can't wait, Tabitha. Miguel and Charity are getting closer by the minute. Well, Endora will be awake in a minute. There's no time. I've got to go up to the ski lodge and stop them myself. Kay, Kay, don't go rushing off half cock. Do something rash and everything could backfire on you. Yeah, well, I can't just stand around here waiting for a magic spell that probably won't ever happen. Well, what do you think you're going to do when you get up there? I'm not sure. Let's see. They're all up there snowboarding, right? Yes. Well, Charity's new at that. Accidents happen all the time on the slopes, right? You mean... You... Well, why shouldn't something happen to Charity? She's inexperienced. All kinds of bad things could happen to her on those mountains. None of them good. Okay, okay. Uh, don't you think you should think this through, dear? Dear. Oh, I hope. People die in sporting accidents all the time. Skiing, snowboarding, hit a tree, go flying off a cliff. So if Jenny had a little mishap, it wouldn't be that unusual. It should just be another statistic. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory. Hasta la vista, Charity. And the agony of defeat. Look out below. Charity! Dear God! Is she... I'm sorry, she... She built up so much speed coming down the hill, I... There was nothing I could do to save her. Sharon. Oh. It's okay, Miguel. I'm here. Poor, sweet Sharon. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs>